Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a prospective video based on the test cluster contents. Keep in mind that details may change in the future and that this is not necessarily representative of final release. The contents in this video will drop on February 9th. But I felt this was a big enough chunk of info, I needed to cover this one first. Over the coming days, I'll be covering more tidbits in relevant detail and their potential from the test cluster moving forward. But in my eyes, the absolute highlight of this update, unironically, is Yareli's Augment Surging Blades. This augment is so massive of a titan that it single-handedly turns her into a nuke frame. Now, just to clarify, I do not have access to the test cluster myself, and I've had to discuss and ask several friends to test a bunch of stuff for me, as well as watching streams to reach certain conclusions. So, let it be known that the findings in this video are a culmination of multiple people's efforts. I keep my damage? What? What the fuck? So what exactly does this augment do? Well, it claims to gain 8% more damage per enemy hits. You can press 3 to launch a blade at your foes. This actually doesn't tell you much, but there's a lot more going on. First of all, Irelli's Aqua Blades have been buffed twice now since her release, but still only hit 3 times every half second. They only have 750 base damage, which we now know obviously scale with strength. Range doesn't affect it at all, which means we couldn't hit things further away, but we also couldn't hit things right beside us. Basically, it was a gimmick ability that worked okay, but was nothing impressive. The only reason it was even functional was because it had 100% chance of proccing slash and had a lasting duration on you for relevant damage application. But this augment, Surging Blades? It changes everything. It does not work the way it's stated. The 8% damage increase per hint. This is not affected by strength. Honestly, that's probably a good thing, because it would get out of hand really quickly if you could both increase the base damage of the blades and the damage ramping of them, essentially double dipping on strength. But that's another thing, this damage increase from hits does not affect the aqua blades spinning around you. You can stand at enemies as long as you want sacking the damage increase and your ring will not get better, there is nothing for you to notice there. No, this damage increase applies to and is exclusive to the thrown glaive which you can trigger by pressing 3 when aqua blades is active. This will throw an aqua blade where you aim with an AoE, hitting all enemies within the radial era. Just be careful with this ability though. Casting this while in Grendel's 4 because it is a helmet, or Titania's 4, will completely crash your game. This thrown glaive has damage equal to the HUD icon buff for the augment. It also has 100% chance to force proc slash, just like the original blades that spin around you. So now you have an AoE glaive launcher in your rally or any other frame that force proc slash, literally a glaive prime as an ability. And I'm sure you know how good glaive prime is, with its infinite scaling force slash procs and zero fall off, because yes, this ability also has zero fall off on the AoE. I don't know how far it can reach, but the throw distance is unaffected by your range stat as well. Now let's get into the damage mechanics. The 8% damage ramping? That is based off the damage of the Aqua Blades themselves. They have a base value of 750, meaning every enemy hit will increase it by 8% of that for the thrown glaive, but the Aqua Blades hit 3 times every half second, or 6 times a second. So for every enemy in range of your ring, you will increase Aqua Blades throwing damage by 6 times 8%, or 48% total damage per second, but this 750 base damage? It is affected by strength. Aqua Blades do not need range like I said and also don't need efficiency, because it has high base duration and, surprise, throwing the glaive with their 3 when the ability is active doesn't use energy either, and is spammable. This part will probably be changed in the future, but honestly it's not that hard to maintain with its kill potential. You could just run not 45 efficiency and that would be maintainable on an equilibrium arcane energized primed flow setup still. But for now, this means you can dump efficiency and range and just max out strength alongside duration. Another thing about the glaive throw is your stacked aqua blade damage will not reset, so you can spam the glaives as much as you want. The only way the aqua blade buff will reset is if you fall off the map and despawn, or the ability duration ends, and this is why we're building for max duration. Let's take a look at this build. This is a non Marilina build, just FYI. Ignore the helmet for a second though. This Yarelli has 322 strength for 2415 base damage on our Aqua Blades. So every enemy you hit for one second will increase it by 48% of this value. Additional enemies present kind of work like multi shot, letting you build it twice as fast with two enemies, thrice as fast with three enemies, and you get the picture. So this would get absolutely insane on a grouping setup. 
And you have two ways to go about it. Either you don't run super high strength because, well, the glaive is spammable already, so you can just throw the glaive twice on a 160 strength build to match the throw of a 320 strength build. This opens up the door to build for duration and range instead with neutral strength, and pick something like Ensnare or Air Burst. Or you can stay the Giga Chad like this build and take Roar for maximum firepower. Rora will buff both this 2415 base damage and double dip again on the slash procs created just like a normal weapon, meaning this build with 322 strength Roar, it will double dip to multiply your final glaive damage by 3.865 times on the force bleeds. And how to source your grouping? Mega Sonobly. Whichever method you pick, the important part is you want to group to stack up surging blades as fast as you can. Another thing, this augment has no damage cap on how much you can stack. If you reach 100k or 200k, you really are throwing a 100k or 200k raw damage glaive at the group of enemies with AoE. And that only takes 5 or 10 seconds of standing enemies to reach. On a sky high duration build such as this, the base 45 seconds duration becomes 102. You have 102 seconds to spam your fake pseudo exalted glaives to heart's content. Until the aqua blade buff resets, you could easily reach 1 million damage on the glaives or higher, and we haven't even added AoE viral primers like Epitaph into the picture just yet. Also, keep in mind Eclipse will not work on this because the glaives are not treated as a weapon. This also means Vigor Swap or Arachne will not work on them. Also, stuff like Shock Trooper won't work on it as well. Toxin Lash, curiously, also will not proc off the glaives or the spinning blades. I have not tested nor asked anybody to test if shooting this through a Quanta Bubble or Volt Shield works though, for the possibility of crits or adding more elements onto it. This is a massive game changer for Yureli and I think it will let you completely break the game. Not to mention just that, but like I said, this ability is also her helmet and means you can run this augment on any other frame. Any frame now gets a portable Glaive Prime to bring along. I imagine you would even be able to kill level cap Demolus with this, since they can only nolly pulse away the ability slash, but not the Aqua Blade Ring yourself so long as you stay out of range. And well, if you put this on Limbo, who can hide in the rift indefinitely, but also able to tag enemies with the blades across the rift and build up the augment buff easily? Yeah. This is gonna be hella broken. So keep an eye out for this augment, it's gonna turn Yureli into an absolute monster and Aqua Blades as one of the best helmets in the game. This is the pseudo exalted glaive we've been asking for, even if it doesn't scale like a true pseudo exalted off melee stat sticks. This is the Scourge of the Leviathan. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, 79.5% of you are not subscribed, I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible. Like I've done with covering the new war on this test cluster stuff. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. You don't want to miss out on any of that do you? That'll be it for this video, thank you all for watching and see you all next time.